Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Randy Shaves this morning for a shave. We're going to have a really good one this morning. Show you what we're going to be using. Um, first off, the soap is McDuff's Winter Cabin. If you're familiar at all with McDuff's, you know they have a cabin series. I think it started with the autumn, and then they've got winter and summer and fall. Let's see, summer, fall, winter, and uh, spring. <laughs> there are four seasons. This is the soap. It's a very, very soft soap. In fact, I've got to go beyond crope on this one and say it's more like a cream, but it's a very nice one, very nice soap. And that is the soap for the day. For the aftershave, the matching aftershave, winter cabin, which I have mentholated. Uh, as y'all know, I like menthol, and uh, I mentholated that with uh, some of the menthol crystals, and uh, man, it's, it's just right. The uh, scent notes for the soap and and the aftershave are raspberry, velvet, vanilla, sandalwood, elami, saffron, cardamom, fir, gayak wood, and cedar. That are the those are the scent notes for the um, for the uh, soap and aftershave splash. Now, as far as brushes go, got a new one to show you today. Got a trotter here. There's the little coin in the bottom. These are made by Paul Trotter. Great brushes, 26 millimeter uh, Manchurian Badger knot. Very, very dense knot. Uh, lathers very, very well. I'll show you the ends, of the tips of these bristles when I get it washed out here after the shave. Um, these are just very good brushes and I really, really like it. Um, I bought this off of the uh, uh, wet shaving enablers for buy, sell, and trade um, group. Um, and, and hey, if, if you're looking for some used brushes, soaps, razors, Lord, you name it, he's got everything. Nathaniel Shudrick or Shudrich, I'm not sure how he pronounces the last part of his name. It's S-C-H-U-D-R-I-C-H. Nathaniel Shudrick, I'm going to say Shudrick. Um, he's on there, got a ton of stuff up for sale. And I've bought, I think, three brushes from him. Uh, I bought another trotter from him and I uh, bought a, uh, an Elite Razor um, brush, brush from him, yes. And um, they're very nice, so... He'll make you a good deal. If you need some stuff, go go see him. Let's lather up. These trotter brushes, I've heard a lot about them. I've never purchased one. But I found a good deal on them, so I thought, why not? Very soft tips on these. And they do have a very dense knot. But they lather up very well. They don't hog the lather. They let it go so you can shave with it like it's supposed to be. And I think that's going to do it for the lather. And we can start shaving. Of course, I have my Yates 921 razor. That's the uh, as machined finish. I have a um, Permasharp blade in here on its fourth use. Permasharp has, has become one of my favorite blades. I've been using them a lot here lately. I've got so many blades. I, my wife made me a, or she decorated me a new box to put all my blades in, and I, I put them in there yesterday, and I thought, my goodness, I got too many blades. I'm 
this McDuff soap is, oh, it's just, the scent on this is just unreal. Very nice. I don't know if all McDuff's soaps uh, are real soft or not. I, I just recently uh, got introduced to McDuff's. I've got one more tub of it, but I can't remember the, the name of it. But it's like this too. I don't think they're all this soft because on these, when you look at the description, it says this is a soft soap. They sell other soaps that don't say that. So I'm not sure. But if they do make a great soap. And this one is... Um, Their version 4 base, I'm assuming that's a fairly new base since this is the uh, winter cabin out of the series. And winter's coming on, guys. Like it or not. There's things I like about winter. I live in Kentucky, as most of you know, if you've been watching me, and we have all four seasons, and I like living somewhere that has all four seasons. I know a lot of people retire and move to Florida. And nothing against Florida. I love Florida. Well, I love Florida's weather. And uh, to me, it fits that it fits that old saying: "It's a nice place to visit, but wouldn't want to live there." I don't want to live anywhere where it's sunny and hot all the time. I enjoy all the seasons. Our trees here are turning fast. Only bad thing is they're letting go of their leaves. <laughs> you know, I, I just pray for a southern, a strong southern wind every now and then to blow mine across the road. Because there's nothing across the road from me, except for a field. And I'll let. I gladly let nature take its course with the uh, with the uh, leaves. A little water on my face. Lather up again with this really beautiful trotter brush. Man, that's a pretty thing, isn't it? Here's my other one. I've used it, I think. I don't know if I've used it on video or not. That's my other one. He puts the same knot and all of his brushes in according to him I don't know who makes his knot he doesn't tell he just says they are made to his specifications he indicates you're not going to find them anywhere else so I don't know I don't know I mean, I'm sure the badger hair comes from China. 99.99% of it does, but 
Somebody has to make the knots. I don't know who does that. But whoever it is, they sure need to make good ones. I really enjoy using them. I'll put a little more water on my face. Sometimes it's hard for me to, when I'm lathering this cream style, cream style corn. <laughs> I don't know why I thought of that. When I um, lather this cream style soap, I have to, I'm used to regular soaps, firm soaps, not hard, but firm soaps. And you kind of get used to the, how much water to use and how much soap to use. These soap, uh, soft soaps are different. You have to lather them just a little bit different. I mean, it's no, it's not rocket science. Lathering is not rocket science. And I'll have to say, if there's if there's one thing, in my opinion, that wet shavers need to work on, it's their lathers. Spend some time practicing on those. I, I see a lot that aren't optimum lathers, but you can do it. It's not that hard to do. I have a video on that if you want to watch it sometime. I use a sterling soap in that video, which is a uh, what I call a you know a normal shave soap consistency. It's not hard. It's not soft. It's, it's like the majority of soaps out there. I tell you, you get a really nice lather and you enjoy your shave so much more. I think that's it's wet shaving uh, according to Randy. So to each his own. But I do say if, if there's one thing that you want to get down pat. Spend time on your lather, figuring out how to do it. How much soap, how much water. And different soaps uh, require different amounts of water. Not by much usually, but it may only be like a milliliter of water, but when it comes to building a lather, that is a, a milliliter is a, you know, it can really change a lather. Don't sound like much. And it's not much, but it, it can really affect the lather. I told you this um, perma sharps on its fourth use. That's why I'm having to work a little bit harder. I love these blades. They're sharp and they're smooth. The scent of this soap is just really, really nice. And that's one thing I've learned that I like about McDuff's is they do, they're not, they're not shy on their scenting. They have good sense, good, strong, not strong. I don't want to put it that way. I would say on one to 10, this one's probably a seven.
it's not uh, overly strong, or as I like to put it, it's not uh, what I call off-putting. And what I mean by that, like if you use an aftershave or a cologne and you walk in a room, say your office or an office building or whatever, and everybody says, wow, what does that smell? Whether they like it or not, it's uh, an off-putting scent to me is too strong. And these two McDuff soaps that I have, they're not they're not off putting at all, but they're definitely there. And I like that. I'm going to look and see if I, or ask some people that know, if they do, if McDuff does make soaps that aren't creams, if they do, I'm going to pick me one or two of those up. Okay, time to rinse. Get my rag wet here in this. Wipe this soap off of my smooth face. And now I'll get the alum block. If I can find it. There it is. Wet my face good. Wet my alum good. Very nice shave. Only place there's any feedback at all, and it's just very little, is right down in here. And y'all saw how hard I was working on that area. I have to, man. That's the that's the toughest area of my face. Is, and it's only on the one side, the left, the left side. But you're right, I get no, it's your left. Um, it's really it's really uh, hard to get good and smooth. Okay, I'm going to wash out this brush because I want you to see the tip. Look at the lathers left in that thing. I had heard a lot about trotter brushes from different people. I've seen them online. Uh, he hardly ever has any in stock. They sell, evidently, they sell really quick. So every time I'd go to the Trotter page, there's no brushes there. And I read, no brushes available. I read, I think, on his site where it said, if you know, if you want one, order it, and it can take up to three weeks. So, But I got these off the buy, sell, and trade. Look at that. Look how they gel up there. Really, really nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, let me rinse this out more. Mm. 
then we'll get to the post shave. Some of this really nice smelling winter cabin from McDuff's. There's a lot of good stuff in their aftershaves, too. You can really tell. Um, I can't pronounce half of it. I'm going to see if I can put it up here where you can see if it'll focus. There we go. Um, you'll see my... <laughs> You'll see my M right there. That means that I've mentholated this particular aftershave. That's, that's how I mark them when I put menthol in them. Man, it's nice, nice, nice. Mm. <laughs> nice and cool. Okay, so let's recap. The Winter Cabin from McDuff's. Show it to you one more time. You can kind of tell by the sheen on it. It's a creamy type soap. But uh, it's very nice. I believe this is a... Is this four ounce? I don't know whether it even tells on here. 120 grams. I believe that's four ounces. I'm, I'm no uh, metric expert, but I think I've been doing wet shaving long enough. I think that's what that is. There's the Yates 921M, my favorite razor. I, I love it. And I used the Permasharp blade on its fourth use. Um, also had the uh, aftershave. Or I'll show that to you. Let's see if I can show you. Well, the label's kind of torn on the ingredients on the soap. But maybe you can get something out of that. This is a tallow based soap. Really nice. Now, for the very last step, I'll reach for my Aveeno Moisturizing Lotion that I always use. Great shave, guys and gals. The Trotter Brush, look at there, isn't that nice? There's his, he has the same coin on all of his brushes. My other one has the same thing there. And uh, if you get a chance to pick one of these up, I think you'll really enjoy it. And let's see, I guess that's going to about do it for us today. Had a good, had good timing on this one. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know about it. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Comment, please. And I'll be sure and comment back to you. And uh, I hope you have great shaves for the rest of the week. And from now on, I hope you have great shaves. But if you get a chance, try some of this McDuff Cabin Series. I don't think you'll regret it. Man, it's got a good scent to it. Both of mine do. They, they have great scents. The, the first one that I got was, uh, I know what it is now. It is, no, I don't. I can't remember. Sorry. <laughs> this old brain up here is getting, getting some age on it. But listen, I'll talk to you guys the next time. And listen, use... If you want something, if you want some McDuff's, go to the razor company. Use my link in the bottom, Randy Shaves. You'll see the link in the description. You'll also see a link to Yates Razors. Uh, just follow the instructions that are down there. And if you go to the razor company to buy some gear, use my code. It helps my channel out. I get a small commission. But even if it's small, the more people that use it, uh, the more it kind of builds up and I can bring you more products. So uh, use that link. Use both those links. And I'll talk to you guys the next time. Have a great rest of the week. Talk to you later. Adios.